I'm the, on the Pastures Committee of the Enrel Freeman of Grimsby and they've volunteered me as the coordinator of the, the regeneration effort that we're making, both on the market uh, and on Freeman Street itself. The Freeman are, are, are a strange body as well, the successors of those that uh, uh, bought or acquired the town charter from King John in 1201. There were about a thousand of us left um, and uh, there are 14 people on the pastors committee who actually run it. Uh, until from 1201 until 1836 we actually ran the council and were the only voters and then councils were invented and the freemen sort of stepped more into the background. Uh, in the 1848 the railways arrived and wanted part of our pastures that we'd had for 400 years. So what happened was the railway came through, the docks was built, and suddenly this boom town had to be built and in 30 years. The whole area of, of East Marsh grew up. So that's why it exists as it is today. And this gives you the background, which was you know, the biggest fishing port in the world. Uh, the amount of money that was involved in Freeman Street in the 19, up to the 1950s, foreign currency, was, was amazing. Um, and it was only when the, the fishing side through Iceland and through Europe um, undermined the whole thing that uh, things started to die and for the last 30 years it's really been in a very poor state. Considering the state of Freeman Street, the community spirit is absolutely amazing. And I think it is the community spirit of Grimsby that's made it what it is. And this is back to your big society situation really. We haven't relied on in, in Grimsby uh, on vast amount of money being thrown into it. Everybody's had to do it and had to do it the hard way. And I think this is what's made us tough and resilient. And I think this is our resilience is really going to be needed now in the next few years because, you know, life is not going to be easy. When you're thinking about the future and, and how we're going to actually uh, get people involved and, and actually make a difference, because this is what we're all trying to do, the Skills Centre, which we've put together, which we shall be launching uh, uh, very shortly, is, is uh, uh, an area where I really think we can start to relate with people. And, and the, the, inter the uh, people who have come into it so far have been amazed at what they've seen. I mean, I don't think people realise quite how big Freeman Street Market is, or was. Uh, the building is an acre. Um, and compared with, with most other places, the National Market Trade Assessor was, you know, do you realise you could put Durham Market in the corner and Darlington next to it and you'd hardly find them? We realised we'd been asking our managers to fill an area which was totally inappropriate. So this is why we've, we've put the, the, the stalls together at the front and at the back. We, we've uh, got a, you know, a third of an acre uh, which we're able to really use for community use and this is why we've been challenging the community um, to come to us and say, look, Here's the, here we are, you've got a, a good building with uh, public access, we've got footfall here, which is the name of the game. Um, come and join us and, and, and work and, and develop a, a real community hub. If we're, if we're looking at the future and, and, uh, and, and what we, we hope we can do to actually make a difference is to uh, uh, it, it, one of the areas is to look at the whole question of, uh, of renewable energy. Um, and we produced a, a, a paper from scratch on trying to work out what we might do. Renewable energy at the moment is still a very uncertain area. It's still developing very fast. Um, and a lot of people will tell you, even the experts, that in fact it's not really the area yet for it in a proper form. But uh, what we've identified is the infrastructure. If we can put the infrastructure in now, uh, that's when we can save money for everybody and build. If we have one boiler house, for instance, in each block of, of properties, um, then as the, the flavour of the month of, of new energy comes in, we've only got one boiler to buy. Um, so that's what we're looking at, at how that we can deal with. And then those can be interlinked together at some stage and you would end up with district heating. So that, that's one of the quirky things we're, we're working on. <laughs>